Hello, this is Enterprise Television News Headlines. I am Kemi Omoshibi. Securities at the State Commission Nigeria has stated the need for business owners in the country to embrace corporate governance as a desirable option. This is in order to grow enterprises, improve shareholders' funds, and profitability on a sustainable basis. The Commission's Acting Director General Medi Udok gave the advice during a comment as one of the panelists at the Alliance Law Firm's Made in Lecture Series, Luncheon, and Book Presentation in Lagos. Kudok, who was represented at the event by the director of the commission, Edward Okolo, said companies without corporate governance cannot have a strong board, since experiences show that companies that have strong boards have better corporate governance systems. Nigerian's Mary Selfie now Kenya Adosh says the President Mohammed Dubar is approved due to rate in March in aquatic beverages and tobacco consumers to pay more for the product will take effect from today. Their size is rate for aquatic beverages caught across beer and stout, wines and spirits for the period 2018 to 2020. She explained that the new SRS duty rate was spread over a three-year period from 2018 to 2020 in order to moderate the impact on prices of the product. She noted that the new SRS duty regime followed all inclusive stakeholder engagement by the Tariff Technical Committee of the Federal Ministry of Finance with key industry stakeholders. She further explained that Nigerians' cumulative specific excise duty rate for tobacco was 23.2% of the price of most sold brands, as against 38.14% in Nigeria, 36.52% in South Africa, and 30% in Gambia. The International Monetary Fund said that Gambia has launched National Summit Data Page, which will provide essential macroeconomic data on the country. The effort is in line with the recommendations by the Enhanced General Data Dissemination System. The NSDP, hosted by the Gambia Bureau of Statistics, gives policymakers, rating agencies, domestic and international investors access to data to make decisions about investment or monitor the economic conditions and policies. According to the senior statistician at the Gambia Bureau of Statistics, Zana Banjan, the implementation of the Enhanced General Data Dissemination System will facilitate efforts to improve data dissemination. Motor Dilla Fortin East African Managing Director Dali has been barred from traveling out of Kenya over a 223 million shilling tax dispute with the Kenya Revenue Authority. Lee says in a suit he has filed against the taxman and the travel prohibition order has affected his work, becoming a big risk to the business. Enterprise Television learned that he is asking the High Court to leave the orders, arguing he is a Kenyan and not a flight risk, making the travel ban a violation of his right. Lee, who was born in China, says he has since become a Kenyan city and is married to a Kenyan. He wants the court to leave the ban, noting that he is scheduled to accompany Cabinet Secretary Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Housing and Urban Development on a tour of China to attend an infrastructure and investment conference on June 7. And, and on the foreign scene, the second weekend of Solo is Star Wars Story, which tells the story of the rebellious pilot youth made an estimated $29.3 million in North America. That drop of roughly 65% from its first weekend three-day total of $84.4 million. So far, the film has brought in $264.2 million globally. Solo drop this weekend is a major concern since there was virtually no big competition. The film's journey forward at the box office is only going to get more difficult with a big June on the horizon. The next three weekends include debut of Ocean 8, Pizza's Incredibles 2, and Jurassic World Falling Kingdom. The senior box office analyst at Exhibit of Relations, Jeff Bork, said he thinks it will be difficult for the film to break even with the production costs, which reportedly totaled $250 million, not including marketing and distribution. So glad we took this job! Moving now to sport. Nigeria may not be the favorite for the World Cup, but it seems to have won fan over with a new kid for Russia. According to the Nigerian Football Federation, 3 million people pre-ordered replica shirts 
and shoppers queued outside Nike flagship store in London to try to get hands on the clothing. The home and away shirt priced at £64.95 pounds, but sold out on the sportswear giant's website soon after they were released. However, the makers described the home kit as a subtle homage to Nigeria's 94 shirt with an eagle wing inspired black and white sleeve and green torso. And that's it on 84 hours television news headlines for today. For more news of this special report in our shows, visit our website www.enterprisetv.tv. Our social media platform are always there for your all-round information. In the world of business, I am Kemi Omoshibi. Many thanks for watching.